Let me see these new forms. Wait, why is there a teleporter here? Oh! Oh, they moved it. Oh, that's actually kind of nice. Bro, that's funny. We were literally talking about it the other day, too. Bro, when are they going to open that back door? And they did. But what's beyond this door? Alright, nothing. <laughs> but it's cool. They gave it its own little area. Kind of like that. Um, But let me look at the forms. We shall look at the forms. Okay, so Detraconian. There it is. DPS slash debuff. Currently not available. Um, well, current level not available because I don't have it. Uh, 450 health. You can get one bonus pip. Speed is normal. Uh, weakness and steel blade. Okay. Uh, a death bat. 150 overtime and clear health overtime. Oh, cause that's good. Um, in some sort of way. This is kind of good for the that one PVE Beastman in Mirage, where those lives just keep constantly healing. Just kind of like that. Uh, Doctor Vaughn essentially. Give enemy two wait. Give enemy two cards. Two pips for a hundred. Huh. How is this a debuff? Are you giving them two cards? I mean, you get two pips and a healing over time, but... I don't understand the concept of that one. Seems interesting, though. I'll give it that. Uh, two pip... Uh, drain? Okay. A Seraph. 200 death damage and two times the pip... Uh, for three... For the overtime for three rounds. On self, if I have a blade. So this would this would seem like a good combination with like a wolf or an elf in some sort of scenario. Or someone that can give you a blade. Maybe a cyclops. Um, if I can blade myself. I haven't looked at the higher level, so I don't even know if I can... I can blade. Um, terminal illness? Okay, bro. Uh... 300 for four rounds and clear health over time. And that does also oh, it's basically a stronger variant of this. I'm assuming this would be an AOE. Um just judging by it. And I think it is an AoE. Um That would be kinda useful, kinda not. Um Just depends. It really it's it's situational. But still good for its damage, I guess. Uh, for overtime. Uh, we don't need to look at the other tiers. Uh, or, I mean, tiers, but we can look at the levels. So, level 2, you get an infection, essentially. Uh, minus 100 trap and steel health overtime. So, this is really just going against the whole factor of a life draco uh, draconian. In my opinion. Like, the, the charming pixies and the TCs. I feel like this is like really something that's like oriented for that. This whole this whole situation that's going here. Um, what does it get? It's a death elephant, right? Creeping death. 500 for 5 rounds. So it's essentially 100 per tick. Uh, for 4 pips. Okay. Single target though. It's not an AoE. Interesting though. Or what does it get? The Scarab, I'm assuming? Oh. Sudden death, 75 trap, and detonate over time if I have a shield? Ooh. Bro, there's a lot of... Com you can combo this with, like, half the spells here. This, this, this. That's actually good. 
anyone has shieldy bro you could be bro a cyclops or not well actually no yeah cyclops would be good because you can work with two different things this uh destrocone would work well with the cyclops i mean it would work with a lot of things but i feel like a cyclops in my opinion only reason i'm saying this um cyclops will give you a blade and a shield so literally bladed will give you this and you get two times the pips and then let's say you need to do an overtime you can go into an overtime like this and then hit into a sudden death but that's like some setup that's required but but you can detonate any overtime it just says a overtime so it's i actually kind of like this Bro, this this sounds pog bro i actually like this form but that's at level four though level one two and three are kind of meh but four is gets interesting in my opinion um but yeah, dude, like literally zero pip, zero pip, one pip, one pip. It does have some like high pip stuff, but dude, like this other stuff is kind of actually good. It's low pip cost. Like stealing health, steel blade, bro, putting, bro, just detonating stuff. I actually kind of like this. Kind of like this. Sounds very pog. And then uh, tier four, level five. It's a Lady Black Hope card. Relentless Attack. It's an AoE. 250 damage. And a negative 100 trap. If enemy has a trap. Or healing trap. Um. Yeah. But. You would have to go against a team that's like heavy healing though. for, for do, To do something like this. Or if you just want straight damage. I guess. If you don't want to go for the overtime. You want to use something like this. That's understandable. Um. Because, yeah, you would have to wait the extra, like, yeah, you would have to wait the rounds for that. Because you're going to do 100 per, you can do, like, wait, you're not going to do 100 per round. You're going to do something a little bit less than that. Um, yeah, there's, I don't, I think the low forms, I mean, this isn't even as bad, right? It's still pretty good. But I think 4 and 5 is, like, when it shines, in my opinion. But actually, I actually kind of like it. I actually kind of like this form. Um... Ice Fairy is the next one. Let me see what's the Ice Fairy. Bro, Ice Fairy has four forms. Goddamn. Okay. Tank slash pips. A fairy being a tank? Okay. 400 health. You can hold up to two pips. And bonus 20 speed. Okay. Uh, chill Wind. Zero pips. Uh, 50 and a pip if they have an overtime. Okay. Let me see your other cards before I judge this. Pacify for two rounds. I still I need to understand more of this pacify and this this new mechanic that they added with the pacify and everything like that. I, I need to see some stuff on it and then I'll I'll judge that too. Uh, glacial dampener. One twenty five. That's basically one twenty five and then a stun block. Isn't that? Oh, so you're getting what twenty five more shield for using the other one. But if you just want to use a full on tank, bro, just use this guy. And use a, it costs a pip. Use this. Um, trap beetle, uh, one hundred and fifty and a one hundred and twenty trap. If if allies have a minion, huh? I can see it working with certain forms. Mm, top of my head is probably like minnow and like ninja or yeah, fire piggy. On top of my mind. Or, or Myth Draconian. Yeah. Uh, that would kind of like activate that card. Um, Perma Frost Shield. Uh, 375 and 1 pip. Is this on everyone? I can't tell. I I'll be surprised if this, if this is just, just for me. 375 one pip let's compare it to huh i feel like this is just better i mean i mean you do get a pip though instead of a stun block I guess, yeah, uh, if, if you, because you start off with, what, three pips? Just literally just do something that will, 
you can pacify yourself into a permafrost on the next person. Something like that. Huh. Seems interesting though. Frozen warrior. Enemies get hit with 300 damage and allies clear traps for 125 shield. So I'm assuming it would only activate if, um, or not. Yeah, if they had a trap on them. Uh, very situational. Seems interesting. Damage wise, I can understand that. Uh, and the shield. So it's like a, it's situational. Like are these these second parts of the cards are very situational. All right, level two. Which is blessing three pips, and one twenty five if allies have minions. So, okay, so a lot of this is minion related. Okay. What'd you get? Ice cream. Uh, fifty damage and clear blade. Or stun. Maybe it depends on who you're going against. But I mean, everyone uses a blade, though. You could stun chain. Actually, not that bad. This this card is not that bad. Bomb would be 100%. Oh, then no, no, I didn't see this. When did I get this? Oh, this is the tier level 4, right? Freeze and thaw. 125 shield and clear trap for one pip. I'm assuming that's a single um, compared to. Oh, so you get two different variants of this. So you can have a 125 with the stun block if you depending on who you're going against, right? Or if you just want the shield or you can just go for this. If someone put a trap on you, bro, easy. Get your pip back. The free 125 shield. And then this, this looks interesting. Brisk and reward. Two pips and 125 shield if allies have minion. That's on everybody. Huh. But the level five forms are kind of cracked. So far. Um, would I be using this? I would have to give it some testing. But... I don't know. It just really depends on this pacify and this permafrost shield. Because you, if you think about it, you start off with three pips. So I'd probably like pacify myself and then shield everybody or shield somebody. Give them a pip. They can do some damage. Something. I don't know. But it's, it's more of like a defensive defensive type, uh, type of form. I don't really like playing too defensive. Like there's limits to my how I play. I like Myth Minnow for that reason. Like summoning minions, you know, stealing people's shields, all type of stuff. And then I like the level three form. Bro, I like this dude. Especially when I summon my minion and be annoying and use this card. Bro. I guess this combo would kind of work. But I mean, Myth, Myth Metal works with the, like a lot of forms. That's why I kind of like. Um, the Ice one would work. The Death one would work. Many things. Uh, but I still think the Death Draconian is better uh, looking it wise then the last form that they gave us was fire cyclops let's see my man bro he's full on red he's tanking pips so this one's tanking in power tanking in feeble now we have tanking pips uh he is the least hp according to all of them um speed's normal okay i don't know what is that physicate Minus 50 accuracy and one pip itself if enemy has a shield. That would be annoying against me. Yeah, that would be actually kind of annoying. Playing as Myth Metal, that would be kind of annoying. Um, or just any type of tank person. Taunt for two rounds. Okay, so they're really introducing this taunt and pacify mechanic in Beast Moon and into other sorts of mechanics. Um, so. So, that... Hey, yo. I'm seeing some mad stuff right here okay, so far. I kind of like this form too. Temper. Uh, one pip and clear overtime for 75 help. This is good and bad. Um, Good as a support, I guess. Like if you're giving it to some, someone needs a pip, bro, and they have overtime on them. You know, if you're fighting some fires, you're fighting some deaths, uh, you're fighting the Draconium, the new one. I think this would come in clutch um 
But at the same time, like, let's say you removed an overtime, right? And you're going against a death draconium. My man will just steal it back. Or even clear it. He'll, do, he'll just return fire with this. <laughs> uh, uh, but it's still cool, kind of cool, though. A uh, flashpoint, bro. They gave they gave it a red outline, bro. <laughs> uh, flashpoint, one fifty overtime and one hundred if allies, bro. Why they really want minions? They really want minions. Um, but yeah, one fifty overtime and hundred damage if allies have a minion. Do minion meta, dude? Are we gonna see minions just being like spammed like crazy now in Beastman? Uh. Broiler? I don't know. Uh, 375 over time. Not bad. Uh, for four pips. Six pips? Holy. Um, basically, Sunbird, but 300 overtime for four rounds and 150 damage if allies have a minion. Damn. That's on everybody, too. But six pips. Someone would have to like donate you pips because I mean, I mean, unless this is working out for you, bro. If you can keep spamming these, because right, you start off with two pips, then you use this, you have three pips, then you have four pips the next round. Do it again, you have five and then six. If you did this twice and then hit with this, goddamn, bro. But that's like RNG, bro. That's, that, this is basically the Krampus of. <laughs> uh, this is basically the Krampus. All right, well, this form is already cracked as it is, dude. The death, I think the death one, the fire one, and I think my order is probably going to be the fire, then death one, and then ice one. Ice one being the worst, like, out of the new update. But the fire and death are cracked so far. But I haven't even checked out his other spells yet. Up in smoke, that's on everybody. Minus 50 and one pip on self, enemy has a shield. Okay, so that's just the first one, but on everybody. Huh. That's still kind of good though. That's that's annoying though. When it comes to accuracy, it's yeah, I don't know. It's like RNG. So... Wait, why are they giving fire this type of stuff, bro? <laughs> when storms in RNG school. But I mean, hey, I'll, you know, it makes sense to give it a fire because fire has the that type of stuff, the accuracy stuff. They have they have literally Krampus. <laughs> Speaking of Krampus. All right, so now they got an elf. Blood boil, one fifty damage, and detonate in overtime. And if Al, oh, it only detonates if if I have a healing overtime. Okay. It will still do one fifty damage, but like, let's say you want to detonate something. Huh. I do like detonating stuff. I I wanted to try something that was detonating related. Detonates are cool for Beast Moon, but I've I've always wanted to figure something out with the Detonate strat. Detonate, the Detonate card in general, I always liked. That's why I, I always want to see somebody in PvP do something with the DOT into the Wrath of Ares card, a jewel. Because I like how Ares hits and then does a Detonate. So, I always want to see something with Detonate. I might try something with it. But that's whenever this form comes out. It's not Like, it's here, you can see it, but it's not out. You know what I mean? But that's cool. Um, Flame on. What are these names? Uh, 300 overtime. It's on everybody. From what it looks like. So it's a 4 pip AoE. That's a 300 overtime. Wait, why is... Wait a minute, what? 300 o overtime self? For enemies, 300 damage? Kind of confused on this. They, they they worded it kind of weird. So am I putting an overtime on myself just to hit the enemies with 300 damage just straight up? That would... Well... <laughs> AOM, bro. Me and you. <laughs> Stormwolf and Storm Colossus. Or, I mean, a Fire Colossus, bro. Uh, bro, I'll... <laughs> I'll do it for I do it to myself, bro. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do, bro. You got the stuns and the blades and everything, bro. 
bro i'll have i'll be rng bro i'll hit him with the minus 50s bro and then i'll co combine into something crazy like this bro i might have to dude because if i do, so i'll have two pips i do one of these if i do one of these someone shields we go second do this get a pip back i'll have four pips Ant has to pull his blade he'll hit i'll do an aoe he'll do it on the person that has lower hp or i mean the higher hp he'll shark i'll do the 300 then next turn i'll have an overtime he blades me removes my overtime and i'll hit the last guy with <laughs> minus 50 again ah dude that's so annoying that's actually annoying. That's that's all it is, too. I actually like this. I actually... Bro, Cyclops has to be one of my favorites now. Can't even lock... Bro, let me lock it, bro. <laughs> I actually like this card. I get lost in what your strategy... Oh, it's kind of hard to explain if you don't know Beastman, but... Because the card... What the card does... I have to hit myself with 300 overtime. Like, for three rounds. So I'll get hit with 100 every time. But if Ant goes before me as Stormwolf, what he can do is after I cast that card, the, the overtime isn't going to be immediate. So, in a sense, is if he goes before me, he can blade me the next round. And it will remove my overtime that I purposely put on me to do 300 damage to everybody. And then whoever's left, so the, the, the turn I use the Kraken... He'll shark with me. He'll use shark. He'll have two pips. I'll have four pips. Because all it does is for me to ha rely on the enemy shielding. And knowing them, bro, they're going to be shielding. Especially if you're running against, like, a certain form. I'll get a pip. I start off with two pips. I'll have a pip from this if they shield. The three. And then on the second round, I'll have four pips. Four pips to enough to cast this. Ant was going to... Ant can shark one of them. Whoever has, like, the higher HP. And I'll use this. It'll definitely kill one of them. And then the following turn, um, Ant will blade me with this. I'll get a 50 blade and it'll remove the overtime. So that overtime I purposely put on myself is going to get removed. I won't have to take a single tick. Like, that's amazing. And then what I could do would be even more annoying on the last person that's a left. Bro, just hit him with this again. <laughs> and then Ant will have two pips. I'll have two pips. Bro. I just hit him with something like this, dude. Now he's this this form is cracked. What the four and five is when it gets insane. What does it get at fifth? Pips? Turbocharge? Give everybody two pips and clear overtime for 125 health. For five rounds. I don't know about the... Uh, this one's whatevs. <laughs> Maybe. Like, that's like a direct counter to... Something like... Something like this. Someone uses this. You're fighting against a death draconian. He uses this. Everyone gets hit with an overtime. Bro, then Cyclops just literally... Do this. But it's for five rounds, though. <laughs> Just nah. But I really like the the raid, this Kraken, bro. This Flame On. This uh, this has to be like the crazy one for me. So I, I like this form the most out of the new forms. Uh, then the Death One because the Death One is actually still kind of sick though. Like, especially when it gets to, like right here, these combos with detonates. Bro, honestly, you could even combine both of these together. If I'm gonna be honest. No, well, actually, no. I would want to. I wouldn't combine them together. I wouldn't. I wouldn't want them. Like this would work with like a, um, some sort. This would. So the thing about Stormwolf, I feel like, it's it's useful. It's so useful. Like Stormwolf is just used in like every sort of thing. Like I've seen some people use like balance or like ice. I'm just like, bro, it's Stormwolf though. Just this card, and this card, dude. They're just too good. And then you get this. It's such a it's just a character that's just viable with any 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 type of person same thing as like balance i cop i feel like 
like Balance Cyclops or Stormwolf would work well with either of those forms because the blade and the shield bro like literally if i want to do some stuff it would work um well, actually well i mean not well if you fire cyclops you can be balanced i meant the blade and the shield for uh Dracon draconian because yeah i actually kind of like this just use this into a combo damn dude so many combos now dude so many combos so what f what would I think be the next forms that they're probably gonna add out like beyond this? I don't know. I have no clue what they would add. Bro, me and Farrakhan gotta run it one time, one time, with like everybody. Hopefully, I, if they were to add a new form though, I don't know what. Maybe a fire croc, I guess. Yo, give me a storm ninja pig. Give me a storm ninja pig. I would take a fire croc, a storm pig, and maybe I want some sort of damage dealer draconian. Like, I know this is all spirits, bro, but can we have like a can we have like a fire draconian or like an ice draconian or something? Something along those lines. But dude, those forms look sick. Not even gonna lie. That's crazy.